Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to live stream a podcast. In today's video, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. A two person podcast with one camera. Though, after you watch this video and get the fundamentals, you will be able to get a little fancy and add either more cameras or more guests with more microphones. So now what you guys are watching and hearing is the actual live stream recording of a podcast. So go ahead and talk, Amari. Talking right now. So we are here Speaking with the second microphone. Saying words. And saying words and nonsense and... Human interaction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that clip that you saw is an actual live stream recording that went straight from all the equipment that I'm going to explain into OBS software and then was broadcasted out. So in this video, I'm going to break down all the equipment you need, how to set it up, and also how to use OBS software to send out your live stream. So here's a list of what you're going to need. You're going to need microphones and you're gonna to need to connect them to a USB audio interface that's also a mixer. That mixer is gonna then be connected to a computer. Then you're also going to need a video camera or a webcam. Now, if you're using a video camera, you're gonna need some type of HDMI video capture device. So the camera will need to connect to that capture device. Then that capture device will connect via USB to the computer. So those are the fundamental core elements that you need. It doesn't really matter what brand or what type you use so long as they have that same functionality. So I'll break down what equipment I personally use, but again, you can use whatever equipment you prefer. My video camera of choice is the Sony a6600 with the Sigma f1.4 16 millimeter lens. My video capture device is the Elgato HD60S. Though another one that I highly recommend is the Elgato Cam Link. Now for my audio mixer slash USB audio interface, I have the Behringer X1204 USB. And the actual software that I'm using in my computer is OBS Studio, which is free and super easy to use. Now for the microphones, I personally use affordable dynamic microphones. My personal favorite choice is the Blue Encore 100. Though if you really wanna get fancy and have the industry standard broadcast or podcast microphones, I recommend the Shure SM7B or the EVRE20. Now you'll also need to connect these microphones to your mixer with XLR cables. Now when you do a podcast with multiple guests, whether it's two or more, you wanna make sure that everybody's voice sounds pretty equal in volume. So some people speak more low, some people speak with a louder volume. You're gonna need to adjust the fader up or down for each person's voice to make sure that everyone's pretty evened out. Also, if your mixer has a compressor, which the Behringer X1204 does, I highly recommend turning that on or cranking it up a good amount because what a compressor will do is it'll even out your volume. For example, sometimes we speak more loudly and then sometimes in a sentence we get a little bit lower. And so our dynamics of our volume are constantly changing. A compressor will help smash down the volume a little and then bring up the lower end. So it pretty much tries to even it out. Definitely use a compressor if you have it on your mixer. Now it's very important that you have your audio signals coming out pretty hot on the mixer, that it sounds very loud without it clipping in the mixer and also that the audio in OBS is not clipping either. So try to get the audio signal out of OBS as loud as you can without it clipping or it will cause audio distortion. So here we are in OBS Studio. It's a free software and my preferred software for streaming and screen capturing. So in OBS, you actually have to add the devices that you have connected that you want to be used in your actual streaming. So I have main camera, mixer, and when you add a device, you can actually name it yourself. So on the sources and you press the little plus, that's where you can choose what type of source is coming into OBS. So for example, I did the video capture device, clicked on that, and then you get to choose where the device is coming from. In this case, it's actually coming from the Elgato HD60S, which is connected back here, and then you can rename it. So when I input that, I actually called that the main cam. That's the name of it. And the input that's coming into the Elgato HD60S is my Sony A6600 camera. Again, you can use pretty much any other camera that you want that has an HDMI output, it can be a webcam, etc. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So after having your video input, now let's add the audio input and go ahead and press the plus and you're gonna go to audio input capture. Now when you put that, you can name it whatever you want. I called mine mixer because that's where my audio input is coming from. Once you name your device and you press okay, then you choose the actual input device. For me, it's USB audio codec and this is the mixer or whatever your audio interface is. 
Now that's how simple it is to set up your input devices, video and audio. That's pretty much all you need. Now you can get fancy and have multiple cameras coming in and you can either have them all in different sections of the screen or you can have something that allows you to actually switch from camera to camera. Now when it comes to the audio mixer, which you'll see here, if you have a desktop audio level, lower that all the way. You don't want any desktop audio coming in. You also don't want your main camera audio. So if you have audio coming in from your camera, take that down all the way. So you pretty much just grab the slider and if it's up, just move it all the way down to zero, negative infinity dB. Now the mixer you can leave at zero and then you do all your audio leveling in the mixer itself. Now when it comes to your actual live streaming settings, that can vary depending on how fast your internet is and pretty much what quality you wanna output. So for the settings, I have actually gone down to 720p just because right now with the whole coronavirus stuff and everybody's online, internet is pretty much being throttled down a little bit. So even though I have a 4K camera, 4K screen, 4K output, uh, I tried 1080p, but even that, that seems to be a little laggy. So now I'm down to 720p and my 720p live streams have actually gone very smooth. So again, that's all up to you guys. You guys can go into your settings and you guys can look up another video if you guys want that actually explains the best settings for you to use. But I'll just do a quick screenshot of show you what my settings are. So now that you have everything set up in OBS, you have your video, your audio, your levels, everything's good to go. Now you have to broadcast and actually output the stream. Now I do have another video on this channel where I show you how to use Mob Crush to output your stream to YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and Facebook all at the same time simultaneously through one stream output using OBS. So definitely make sure to go watch that video. I do have a link in the description. And there you guys have it. That's how you do a live stream of a podcast with two people and a single camera. Now, if you wanna get fancier, you wanna add more guests. If your mixer has more microphone inputs, such as the Behringer X1204, which has up to four microphone inputs, then you can have more guests. And if you wanna get a little fancier with OBS and have more video camera angles, then you can add more cameras with more video capture cards like cam links, et cetera. And then you can have multiple cameras, you can switch between cameras, or you can have all the cameras on at the same time. You can get really fancy. And soon I will drop another video on how to do a live stream with more guests and more cameras. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.